In life, the doors of opportunity open and close. Sometimes a door opens back up. One door made Paula realize she was more than just an athlete. This is the Paula Padrani story. May 2014, I received an email from Veronica Padrani about her daughter Paula. Paula was a sophomore at El Toro High School and had a personal best of 35 feet in the triple jump. She saw a future in the event, but her daughter had no idea what to do next. Paula came to her practice. She was raw and very talented. We did a few summer meets so I can assess her tendencies and saw we had to start from scratch. We trained, but I noticed something. She was a triple jumper, but she was really a hurdler. How do I know? It's just a hurdle sense thing. So I introduced her to the hurdles and she picked it up virtually overnight. In the 2014 California games, I entered Paula in the triple jump and the 100 meter hurdles. She did well in the triple jump, but she killed it in the hurdles. When the fall came around, I noticed she wasn't consistent in her training and her development slowed. I spoke to her about it and she let me know she was tired from soccer practices. Soccer? She never told me about soccer. We had a long talk about what she wanted from soccer and track so I'd be able to support her in both of her passions. My original plan was to build her up during the winter season to give her the best start to her junior season to get recruited. But since she was set to play high school soccer, this meant no winter track season, and it basically meant that we were going to erase all the training we did in the fall and summer. I gave her all the hypothetical situations so she'd be able to make the best decision for herself. After a few weeks, she decided to end high school soccer but continue club soccer. Her plan was set, and winter track, here we come. The 2015 winter season was a breakout year for all of my club jumpers and the focus was to make the 2015 winter indoor track championships held in Fresno. Paula met some adversity in the beginning of the season when she hit the normal learning curve for triple jumpers. Everyone else hit the qualifying mark except for Paula. Mind you, back then the qualifying mark was like 34 or 35 feet. In her last qualifying meet, she put it all together and hit a new personal best of 35 feet 5 inches and stamped her ticket to the 2015 California Indoor Winter Championships. When she got there, she killed it. Fast forward to the 2015 high school season. New issue. Her coaches decided to focus her on the 400, which was not good for the triple jump because the events conflicted. She did the best she could through tired legs, but she ended up hitting a new personal best of 36 feet 1 inch anyway. I had her tell her coaches she wanted to do the 300 meter hurdles and her first ever race, she won. Then she kept winning. She won league, qualified through CIF, and at CIF finals, she broke the school record with her time of 43-63 and made it to the Masters Championships. She did so well, she ended up placing one spot out of qualifying for state. The summer going into her senior year, I had her take the summer off and enjoy her life but she enjoyed her life with her soccer friends and later decided to play high school soccer one more time, which meant she wouldn't train with me during the winter. Long story short, her senior year, she just competed in track for the love of the sport. She did well and improved her triple jump to 36 feet, five inches, and had no additional improvements in her hurdles. That's how her high school career ended. But wait, there's more. Paula was an exceptional student holding a 4.8 GPA. She was the class president and literally superwoman. She did it all. She got into UCLA where she had the option to compete but decided to focus on school studying computational and systems biology. I just feel smart saying that. Paula, honestly, over the years, I've never seen you without a smile on your face. Keep it that way. We are so proud of you. Keep it going.